You might be wondering why I look like trash right now. It's because I just got done doing a small workout. I'm trying to get healthier. I sit down too much, but I got a lot of stuff to do today. First off, um, I need to put up this video about this deck that I freaking love. I played with it last night on stream and it was killing. Um, and man, it was, it was just so fun to play with. So I couldn't keep it to myself. I'm pretty sure some people have probably already done something like this, but this is probably the most unorthodox deck I've built so far in this game. And I call it control issues. It is a uh, deck that surprisingly has, if I recall, it has, I think 12 Pokemon in it. Let's see, it has it has um, two Weeping Bell lines, which is gonna be six Pokemon. It has one Pidgey line, um, but it also has two Pidgeot, so that's gonna be another four Pokemon. So that's gonna be 10, and then we have 12 with Aerodactyl, but if you wanna count these two old Ambers, it's really 14. So we really only have two Professor's Researchers, two Erica's, and two pokeballs that are our trainer slash support items and this deck was just slapping it was working like crazy the whole point of it is to be able to control your opponents um very easily um victory bell's ability which we've made a video about this before has um it has fragrance trap i just i don't know what just happened to my voice right there but basically it can let you pull in basic pokemon um <clears throat> from your from your opponent's bench. So if they have like stuff that's out sitting out there, like, I don't know, a, a base Pikachu EX, um, if they have a Articuno or a Zapdos, anything like that, all the legendary birds, anything that is a basic Pokemon, this thing can pull it back up. So if they try to run away after they've, um, you know, done all their stuff, I especially love this versus like a Moltres deck, uh, surprisingly, even though it's a grass deck, really, um, is because people will try to use the Moltres and then they'll try to leave it out, right? Um, they'll try to put it back on the bench. This can bring it right back into the game. You can kill it. I love that about it. It does 60 damage, which is, um, okay. It's not like super crazy damage. It's not a, it's not a Charizard 200 hit, but it's really nice. Speaking of Charizard, we have a, we have a, another Pokemon in here that does so well against Charizard. I didn't even, I didn't even know about this. It's a, it makes Charizard a 50, 50 if they destroy one of your Pokemon, which is crazy. So if they kill my victory bell, first of all, I probably have another one in the sidelines because this deck um, can stall really well. Um, you have Aerodactyl here. And what Aerodactyl does is it's a 50-50 chance. You flip a coin and the Pokemon that's in the active position, this Pokemon has to be the two. It doesn't do any damage. But if this hits heads, that Pokemon goes back into the deck. Now, that doesn't seem like a very bad situation um in like later games and whatnot but it's kind of devastating because that pokemon loses all the energy that it has on it so if moltres has been setting up a charizard in the back line for forever you put an aerodactyl in there when it swaps in if you you might want to let it you have to think about the swaps and see what's going to happen it really turns the game into chess if they put in the um if they put in their charizard you can just flip it back out and put it back into the deck. It loses all the energy. It loses all the buildup. You have to pull Charizard, Charmander, Charmeleon, all that stuff again. Um, and this has 100 HP. Then you can swap this out. It takes one to retreat, which is great. This deck is very low energy. Everything in the deck only needs two energy to um, to 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 work. That's phenomenal. So you only you can you can get stuff out. Like you can even get rid of a Moltres early if you get this early. You can just put a Moltres in there. It is a little scary because you can't pull this without just pulling it regularly. You can't. You can use Professor's Research, but you cannot use a Pokeball to pull Aerodactyl or to pull the um thing. What's it called? The do 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 the Amber, the old Amber. So you you have to pull this just hoping you get it. Cool thing is that you're gonna be thinning your deck a whole lot because you only have three basic Pokemon that you can pull with the Pokeball. You get a Pokeball, you know you're getting one of your basic Pokemon, which gives you a higher chance of getting one of your old Ambers or getting one of your Aerodactyls or getting prof Professor's Research to get the stuff to help you do that. So it just cycles into itself. So you would really sit here and think, oh man, well, what am I gonna be pulling most of the time? Most of the time you're gonna be having what you need. But we have another point of this deck and that is Pidgeot. And most of you guys know what Pidgeot does. It has Drive Off, which it'll is basically a Sabrina. They have to decide what they wanna put in, which is really cool. You can have Pidgey sitting in the back line. It still only needs two points of energy to attack. But what's cool is that if they put something in that you don't want, you can just push it out. So you can basically pull things in that you want. You can push out things you don't want in the active position, forcing them to have to put things in that they may or may not like. And then if they put something in there that you don't care about, that you or that you do care about, like Charizard or something big, you can just make it go back into the deck. 
It's so powerful. And I also think that Aerodactyl, if you only have one active Pokemon and you hit a flip with Aerodactyl um, on their side, they only have one active Pokemon. I think the game is over. Like they don't have, they have nothing. It has to go back into the deck. Like I haven't been able to do it, but I've heard rumors that that is what happens. Super fun deck has so much fun playing it, man. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the deck. It was super fun. I call it control issues because basically that's what it makes you feel like you have. Uh, anyway, anyways, enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Is that two games in a row that we've won? I don't think we've lost. I don't think we've lost yet. That's pretty funny. We have so much control over the field, which is really cool. And we have so many Pokemon too in our deck, but I don't know if it's good. We got we're going first this time, so uh, he's lighting. He's playing Pikachu deck. Um, we'll go for Bell Sprout first. I go for Bell Sprout because I only got one Pidgey. I got two Bell Sprouts and I got a Pokeball too. So we're going first anyway. So yeah, well you know he's got Pikachu EX, so. What sucks is we don't have Aerodactyl or a uh, Gold Amber, so or Amber. Oh, we have an Old Amber. That's something. I think I will put this out here. You forgot what country it was. I'm not gonna put any points on this bell sprout. I'm gonna let him take care of it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put points on this bell sprout in the back and put a point on this bell sprout. Actually, kind of want to put it on Aerodactyl. Am, am I weak to anything? I'm weak to. I'm weak to lightning, so we kind of have to hit this if I get it, so. <laughs> this is a tough one. Who do I want to bring out? I don't know. I guess Pidgey. I guess you can have the Pidgey. I, I would rather him have killed this Bell Sprout, where well, there's nothing I can do, really. He's going to kill that Pidgey. I think he would have had another Pokemon to throw down here too, but he didn't want to do it. We're going to try to see if we can kill this thing now. Or not kill it, but put it back in the deck. <laughs> Go back into the deck, Pikachu. <laughs> All righty. We, we might, we, we don't know, we'll see. This thing's gonna be dealing 50 damage, to, no, 40 damage to us too. Old Blitzel. Oh, that kind of sucks though. He does have a Pokeball, so he can probably just get Pikachu right back. He doesn't have any points on it though. He has Electabuzz, okay. So I'm gonna back up with Aerodactyl and put in Victory Bell, I think. We have another one. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to put this Blitzel back in the deck too. Perfect. Because he doesn't have any Pokemon that can hit me next turn because he only has Pokemon with two energies of attack, right? And I need to um, get Victory Bell in, basically, right? Electrobuzz has 70 HP. I can't kill it next turn, but we can try to do something, you know? He can't attack me this turn. He might have a Sabrina, but if he does, I'm just gonna put Victory Bell in, which I want Victory Bell in. 
and I might get an Erica to be able to heal it. So we'll see what's going on. And I can also kill his Blitzel next turn. I can kill his Blitzel because it's only a 60 power, so. Okay, so we got that. Put this down here. We're gonna back this Aerodactyl up. Put in Victory Bell. So I think I wanna, I wanna even the eyes right now. Well, you know what? This can evolve. I'm gonna kill this. Oh, I'm not gonna kill it. I'm gonna deal damage to it, but I'm not gonna kill it. I can't kill it. But if it leaves, I can bring it back in and kill it. Um, I probably should have went ahead and killed this because he can he can evolve this and he probably has the what he needs to evolve it. I don't know. We'll see though. He might have Zebresco or whatever it's called. He has Pikachu back in the mix, but he doesn't have any any um stuff on it though. Is he gonna put Pikachu back up? I can just kill Pikachu. I mean, I can kill next turn. I can kill. Um, I'm actually going to set up to kill Pikachu. What does this thing do? Flip a coin. If has your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Okay. He has to, he can paralyze me. Let's see if he paralyzes me. He doesn't paralyze me. So great. Good shit. So now I can kill his Pikachu in two hits because Pikachu, it'll, he, he can't, he can't attack right now with it. So I am going to, well, first I'll do this. Um, put on Aerodactyl, the, the other one. I'm going to use fragrance trap, bring in his Pikachu. He only has 120 HP. So I can kill it in two hits and he has to put points on it, but he's probably going to retreat with it now because I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm attacking the fuck out of it. Right? So what's he going to do? He's not going to want to keep it up here. Right? <laughs> so. He's probably gonna want to get out. He can't get he can't get enough energy on it now because we we made we basically made him reset. Making him reset was really good. Now, only thing he can probably do, I'll put this other Aerodactyl in, which is fine. Like, what's he gonna do? X speed. Okay, he's gonna put Electabuzz in. He puts Pinsure in it. He wants to paralyze his Aerodactyl. That's his whole plan right now he wants to try to paralyze his aerodactyl he'll deal 50 damage to it he can kill it in two turns but he has to hit the flip me right now i don't have to hit the flip all i have to do all i have to do is retreat out and bring pikachu back in he didn't hit the flip so he loses he's pretty much lost it now i think because i'm also going to heal victory bell um it sucks, but that's the way the game goes. You know, like there's nothing that I can do about that. What I can do is I can bring his Pikachu back in though. And the reason why I said he's it's over with is because I need two points after I kill I need one point after I kill this Pikachu and Electro Buzz is a basic Pokemon. Oh, I don't even have to put, I don't have to put energy on anything. I don't have to put energy on anything because Electro Buzz is a basic Pokemon that can't evolve. So unless he paralyzes us and, and he keeps us paralyzed for forever, but I also have another weeping bell in here somewhere and he only has one point on us and we don't have any, what you call it? He, you, because he has this electro buzz out now, it's kind of bad for him. Electrovire, not yet, spirit juice. Um, There'll be more Pokemon coming out. Um, not, I don't know when, but not any, not, not long from now. They haven't even had a full release yet. So he just keeps having bad, bad flips. Nothing he can do about that. Yeah, he's gonna get out of here. There we go.
that all we did was that uh, that aerodactyl came in such clutch aerodactyl came in so fucking clutch because he had pikachu out originally and he had tons of energy on it and the electric decks have no way to get a bunch of energy unless you're using magneton and he just couldn't catch back up with that pikachu and because it only took two hits from victory bell i just like kept bringing it back in like nah where you going bitch i ain't hear no bell i can't hear no bell bitch where you going <laughs> oh man that's such a good game sit said and done is a dead fucking roach in the city that we run up to nice blow getting rid of that pikachu is what made the game winnable it really was maybe Aerodactyl's doing pretty well though. As long as you can pull him. If you can pull him, then he's great. The cool thing is that it's not like the flipping of his coin is way more. It, the 50-50 on him is much better than a 50-50 on Houdini. Damn it. Hypno. So your shorts doing decently? Says 673 views. It's pretty good. Oh, we have Pidgey and Pidgey. Oh, we have the Pidgey line. Am I going first or second? I'm going first. So I get to evolve first, which means I got 80 health, which is good versus Ekans, but he'll be able to attack first. Okay, we can put out some good stuff though. So if I get well, we get another Bell Sprout. That's all we can get. Right? Am I right about that? I think I have a Pidgey, two Bell Sprout, and two an Old Ambers. I think that's what I have. So, not a whole lot I can do, except hopefully get a, an Old Amber. You try for the loop? I appreciate you, dude. You do a good job. Yeah, the only, the only thing I ever have, the only issues I ever have with the shorts is that there's like certain settings and stuff that you can't hit. I don't think because there's like, um, and, and maybe uh, after the stream, we can like see what you can see on the YouTube side of things. But yeah, I know, I know some things are like really great to just throw out there like as quickly as possible, you know? Let's go ahead and put this on Bell Sprout. Put Pidgeotto up there. Professor Research. Cause I'm probably gonna, we got another weeping bell. Okay, good. I am gonna put a point on you and pivot you out into this weeping bell. And I'm gonna end my turn. I'll probably put some clips out on the day stream. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a, we'll probably have a meeting. Okay, so he's gonna deal how much damage? Is he gonna, he's not gonna evolve, is he? No, but he deals 30 now, okay. Okay, so we have old Amber now, so we can go to Aerodactyl when we want to. But first, I need to put points onto Weeping Bell. I couldn't attack him if I wanted to right now anyways. Just go ahead and go into Pidgeot. Um, might as well use drive off. I have it. Who cares? It doesn't really do anything. Both the same. And end my turn. Get auto-corrected. I'll probably put some clips on the birthday stream. That would be great. If you can do a clip um, when we're doing the uh, full-time streaming thing. Not full-time, but like the, the, the marathon. Cause I'm not gonna be able to upload, you know? Win with Arrow's ability would be hilarious. It would be hilarious. Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. Boom, boom, boom. The cutest that I've ever seen. Lips, egg roses and clover. And tell him my lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm here alone. To call my own 
Please turn off your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Like, this is going to die. I can't do nothing about that. Okay. So he also has a Pidgey. Okay. Not what I wanted to grab, but. This will give me 70 health. Maybe I want to just keep that in there. No, I'm not going to waste that on him. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, Pidgeot. If we get our if we get our uh, victory bell, I'll be ready to go in. But right now, Weeping Bell is a wall. He's probably not going to kill this right now. He'll probably wait to drive it off. I'm not sure though. Nope, he killed it. Can I please get a victory bell, please? Great. We just got it. Okay. So I can kill this now. How much does Pidgeot do? 70 damage. I'm killing the one with extra energy. Yeah, I'm bringing in the other Ekans. It has extra energy on it. Here we go. So he thinks he can kill us in two hits with Pidgeot, right? Um, what's actually gonna happen is I'm gonna bring in Aerodactyl and I'm gonna try to try to make him leave. Cause he can't kill me. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't think he can. I'm not bringing in my Pidgeot. Even with that, he won't be able to kill me. And I might make him leave. Okay, so this is the this is a question. Do I retreat, bring in Victory Bell and kill Ekans? I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to kill Ekans. That's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, I don't even have the retreat. Well, I do have the retreat, but it doesn't matter which one I wanted to do, really. We'll put this down for now because we do have something for that. Um, let's go ahead and put a point on Pidgeot. Yeah. And I'm going to retreat with this. Bring in Victory Bell. I am going to use Fragrance Trap. Bring in Ekans. And we're going to use Vine Whip on Ekans. <clears throat> okay, so what is he going to do now? He has no Ekans. I don't have to worry about Arbok. He hasn't put out another Pokemon yet. He might have a Pidgey. I don't know, but he probably won't put it out because of Victory Bell. 
and he can't he can't evolve in the same turn you know but now he hasn't killed any of my pokemon yet right or has he killed one but i can put another point on pidgey out and i can kill him in two turns i think right i think so So I put in Pidgeot. He probably wanted me to put in my Aerodactyl, but I'm not gonna. He'll deal damage to me, but that's fine. Cause even if he kills this, I'm kind of getting ready for like retaliation. I honestly could try to go for Aerodactyl too. Like real talk, I could. But I'm not gonna. I also have another Aerodactyl. So now we're gonna put him in kill range with Victory Bell, unless he has a potion. If he has a potion, then it could get a little bad, but he still has to hit us twice with Victory Bell. He has a potion, so he still will have to hit us twice though. This deck has no EX. Okay, he still has to hit us twice though he'll kill my pidgeot but that's fine i think he still can't put any pokemon out he has no other heals either and if he does just drive off which he won't okay <clears throat> okay so I didn't think he'd have the potions. I also have Erica too, so I have two Ericas, so he's kind of done for. Um, I will put point on this Aerodactyl so he can like get out whenever um whenever it's time. I think it is a two is a two stake two bird. So it kind of sucks for him. He doesn't have any more potions. He's going to make us leave, but I'm gonna pull on my. He's gonna. I'm gonna pull out my Aerodactyl. I'm not gonna pull out the wrong Aerodactyl because that would be bad. He hits it. I just retreat and kill him now. And I'm pretty sure he knows that. So yeah, he's gonna get out of here. Okay, I like this deck. <laughs> this deck is so fun. And it's, it's so crazy because it has so many Pokemon in it, but it's actually working out pretty well. It's it's a control deck. It, it adds in all the best parts of control. You don't have to worry about Sabrina because you do have a Pidgey. Uh, you have a Pidgey line, but it can also do it can also deal damage. You know, like that's pretty good. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great Spooktober.